right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and one of our small distributors in to see us, Angel Share. And um, well, we didn't know we lost our old rep. I mean, Chase was our old rep. She didn't tell us she was leaving us. And then our new rep comes in and I said, well, don't we already have a rep for you guys? So, well, a little bit of confusion here, but these guys have some pretty good wines. And you know, we started out with a little uh, Cote de Rhone, which is Clos de Cavu, which uh, this is a blend of 70% Grenache and 30% Syrah. Good amount of that fresh berry pie fruit that you get from Cote de Rhone, some pretty floral and herbal notes, that garig like quality that you get from this region. Um, very fruity and forward wine on the palate. This 2011 vintage, very juicy. Those dried herbs and floral notes showing through that zesty finish. Good wine at $23. Yeah, you can find a lot of great Cote de Rhone at $15 or less, though. So maybe a little bit expensive for, for me. And uh, the Coho Merlot up next from Michael Black Vineyard in Combsville. Wow, this wine, I mean, on the second day, was still showing beautifully. Maybe it didn't have as much fruit in the nose, but uh, uh, on the finish, this wine just singing. And even on the third day, because I always taste things the next morning, this wine's still excellent. I raised my score on it. Well, Brooks Painter is the winemaker here, and Gary Lip are the minds behind this label, and these guys have a lot of experience in the wine business. They know where the great grapes are, like this Michael Black Vineyard in the newest Appalachian in Napa, Coombsville. This wine's got a very distinctly earthy and herbal nose, dark plum fruit, dark cherry, cocoa spice, really nice complexity on the nose, especially for being out in the second day, and that is the sign of a truly great wine, one you can keep open for two or three days and they continue to open up and evolve. This is a big Merlot, lots of plum and dark cherry fruit, a firm hand of acidity, some tannins here at the finish also, a very well-built wine with uh, dark cocoa and spices, long and complex finish. This is a big Merlot with lots of stuffing and uh, like I said, it's already been open for a day, still showing nicely on the third day. So most excellent juice, $57 from our friends at Coho. All right, the BY's Wisdom Red, which uh, it's not, we're wise to leave a grape varietals off your label. I mean, how do people even know what's in the bottle? It's kind of catchy packaging, but we'd like to see on the back label somewhere, please, folks, a blend of Zinfandel, Cabernet, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Syrah, and Petit Verdot. It'd be nice just to let our customers know when they pick the bottle up what's in it. All the state group uh, fruit here, there's only 750 cases made of this 2011. And, you know, excellent bottle of wine for a Zinfandel blend. I'm not a big fan of Zinfandel, but I guess you put all this other stuff in it. It's kind of prisoner-esque here. Good amount of that brambly, raspberry, blackberry fruit on the nose with sweet tobacco spice and some underbrush notes here. Good amount of that fruit showing through on the palate with that underbrush and brown spice and some tannins. Some nice structural here, that brambly earth and fine herbs showing. Also some complexity. An excellent little bottle of wine at $30 and held up really nicely on the second day. And then the Pieta Terre Cabernet from Napa. Uh, this is a label that was created by a wine buyer from New York and uh, he saw there was a void in the market for reasonably priced Napa wines. All right, well, this is $30, man. There's a lot of stuff in that $30 price range. So, you know, that story to me doesn't 100% pan out. But anyways, mostly Cabernet Sauvignon with 22% Merlot, 1% Petit Verdot in the mix. This wine has a really strong, earthy character to it and peppery note, some cigar wrapper, tobacco, and some dark currant berry fruit here also. A bit dry and tannic on the first day, but man, this wine opened up really nicely. And the next morning, still had a lot of that peppery spice, but really smoothed out and showed a little more fruit and um, really nice, long, layered finish. Excellent juice at $33. Bravo. All right, that's what we had to drink with our new rep from Angel Share. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.